Hello, this video shows how I solved the problem on an ASP.NET Core 2 MVC server to upload big files. So I work now for two days to find a solution and now I have this solution. I present this solution to you. Now what you see here is my ASP.NET Core application and local state. Uh, I have the same one as uh, online set on uh, HTTPS uh, ready.net and on, on there I'm uploading videos uh, on a big, si uh, big size with big size and now this is in this example it's the uh, entry form and there when I select the video uh, it's with let's take this with 400 uh, megabytes then you see the file will load up but there will come an error now you see that's the error which happens uh, it's the, the stuff is uploaded in ajax uh, with jquery but it doesn't matter which way you will always get either a 404.13 error or you will get another error with, which is called 502 502 and something else here it is 502 uh, server side something with this one and it's uh, dot 15 it's always this 5 502.3 bad gateway or it's the other one with 404.13 h not found you will find the, uh, by the way, the expla explanation and all the code from for ASP.NET Core on my website here. Uh, now go to we go to the solution. Uh, I stop that point. What you have to do is you have to go to the web config. Uh, if you don't have a web config file, then you may add it on the on project by uh, add file, and then. You will set, now we are still in ASP.NET Core, in there there's not de no default web config, but when you work with the IIS application, Internet Information Server on Microsoft, then you should embed the web config. And there you say, um, go back again, there you say security, um, excuse me, here, take this one out. That's that's the one. Uh, what what did I do? Now I need this one to be replaced to show. Take this one off. Here again now go there and inside of configuration systems web server there's a small subgroup uh, security web uh, request filtering and there you may set this is the size for one gigabyte uh, if you don't set this one you will get a 404 error okay take that's the web config then you have to go there in program that's there the web config and then you go to program.cs inside there you may use you always have there the main and then you have this i web host uh the where the web host the kestrel is uh configured you have there to embed use iis integration this is for asp.net core otherwise you always get errors uh sporadically uh, and then you go there and add use Kestrel and there inside you have the options and you may set the options for limit and the limits there you have keep a live timeout so if, when you're from a client go to a website then it's all it needs always a lot of time so you may set there maybe two hours let's say YouTube YouTube there with a slow connection you need one hour for example uh, now embed this one and now that's the one and now you also that's important for the solution web config 
in the startup there's a little bit what we will need to embed and that's i was working so l for such a long time and was no solution embed there services configure options value length int maximum value so the maximum value length for, of, for the form options so i was not sure maybe the form field is limited also uh, embed this one and then you will have it now we start it i'm not sure if it runs on the local host but it should do uh, it runs at least at the server now i go there to my file i'm adding it and then i say upload a big file 400 megabyte file is uploading on my local host and now you see a big video with myself <laughs> video by 400 meg which is now on the system and you may do now i need a picture to embed a preview picture uh, but it's not important you will find all that all that stuff in my ready.net or at code doku the link will be below my below the youtube video or the video which will be inside my um application <laughs>